Here are your headlines from CBS Chicago. I'm Roseanne Teus. Good morning, I'm Erin Kennedy. Let's get a look at our beautiful Friday. Hi, Megan. Yeah, hey, it's Friday. Makes us happy even when the weather's not good, but it's beautiful today. Mostly sunny, feeling like summer temperatures in the 80s. A little bit of a breeze coming in off the lake. Second half of the Friday. We're looking at tonight, mostly clear, slight shower, dropping down to about 65. And then your Saturday, partly sunny, a 30% chance of showers. Not a total washout, but definitely expecting to see some activity on the radar out there. We might see an isolated shower again on Sunday. Temperatures in the 80s through the weekend. Then we're low 70s, but beautifully comfortable and sunny next week. Thanks, Megan. In just the past year, the number of teen drivers involved in deadly crashes has jumped by more than 10%. CBS 2's Vince Gerasoli has a look at what's behind that alarming trend and how to put it in reverse. It was honestly like a week ago, I just got this my first car. At 16, Layla Gardner has taken a student driving class and even abides by her own rules of the road. A big no texting and driving. You can play music because I like my music, but it shouldn't, you shouldn't have it loud enough so that it distracts you. Unfortunately, not all teens are off to Layla's good start. The AAA Foundation for Traffic Safety found drivers aged 16 to 17 are three times more likely as adults to be involved in a deadly crash. A statistic taking on more meaning with school out of session. Unfortunately, summer is known as the 100 deadliest days for teen drivers. The study found that distraction from texting or listening to loud music accounts for 6 out of 10 teen crashes. 60% of teen drivers killed in a crash were not wearing a seatbelt, and speeding was a factor in nearly 30% of fatal crashes. We know from our research that parents modeling good driving behavior is so important. It feels great because you feel like you feel free and you're not with your parents and your parents aren't taking you everywhere so you feel like like an adult. Layla welcomes the responsibilities that come with driving and she even says her skills pass the test with her 12 year old sister. My sister drives with me all the time. She tells me that I'm good because at first she would never drive with me. She was she used to be so scared like when I had my permit but now she's always she's my road dog. She's always driving with me. Teen crashes affect all age groups. Over the past five years, 1,600 people were killed in crashes involving inexperienced teen drivers in the summer season. The best advice, talk with your teen drivers about safety and make sure you're setting a good example too. Well, for the very latest headlines, anytime, day or night, head to CBSChicago.com. Have a great Friday, everybody.